vault is unlocked. Oh, she's feral. Okay, so we still have Zeke's to kill. Um, and we still have to find our satchel. Oh, shit! I thought you were dead. Okay, now... <laughs> How we killed all the zombies, good lord. Welcome back everybody to 7 Days and I am an old guy gaming and this is Alpha 19.1 Build 8. And we are going to do uh, our next tier 2 quest. It is here at the grocery store. And you know something, I can't say as I've actually been inside this grocery store before. It's the new Shamway Foods. Yeah, you know what? I don't think I have. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so I don't know where the, you know, the, the end loot is in this place, uh, but we do have some more uh, food in there. So let's grab that. Uh, not a whole lot to update you on in terms of what's going on at the base. I have, um, oh shit. I've, um, did, you know, did the usual inventory management and uh, made about four uh, pipe bombs, I think it was. So, what are you guys doing? There you go. Uh, I put the the auto mod uh, that I found, a trigger mod, on this gun. So now we have a fully automatic tactical assault rifle. <laughs> We're going to kick ass with this thing. Uh, looking forward to using it. Plus, we have two shotguns uh, as well. So we are doing good. It's, it's really weird. You know, I've been complaining all along that there's no damn guns in the game, and then all of a sudden, there's guns everywhere. <laughs> when I say everywhere, I mean, you know, I found one gun in loot, and then the traders are starting to stock them too, so it's almost like a switch was flipped on or something. Or maybe it was Alpha the Alpha 19.1.1 update that changed that. I have no idea. But I'm not complaining. I'm finally happy to, you know, have some guns here now. Uh, so let's go ahead and just buy all the food and the sugar butts. Don't really care about the beer so much, and we're probably going to find a bunch of food in here too, I would imagine. So we'll put all this stuff in here. And, uh, okay, so in terms of double looting, now I have um, two quests, actually. I've got this fetch and clear, but then we also have this tier two clear, which is right next door pretty much over here. Uh, and But it's also 12.30 in the afternoon on day 13, so we got to start thinking about Horde 14. I'd like to get both of these knocked out in this episode if possible. Which means I don't think I'm going to try and double loot this place this time because of the fact that I don't even know where the end loot is. So let's just go through it legit. And then, you know, we'll know, we'll know for next time if we end up doing uh, this POI again. So, yeah, let's come back over here to the start of it. Get our bike turned around. Uh, the other thing, too, is I'm really low right now on gasoline. The gasoline that you see on the lower right-hand corner is all I have. I don't have any spares. So at some point, I'm going to have to uh, go out and deal with that, too. Okay, let's take a look in here really quick. Uh, so we got some food in here. And just some trash and cement and that sort of thing. Okay. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything here that would harbor a secret. So, okay. And two guys, just because time is a bit of, of the essence here, I'm, I don't think I'm going to loot every single thing. Uh, we're just going to kind of hit the... Uh, that's the bookstore, isn't it? Yeah, we're just going to kind of hit the bigger stuff. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. So, no Zeke's. What are we doing? This is a clear and a retrieve. Okay. Uh, we might get a little gasoline out of here. Is that going to collapse? Uh-uh. Yeah, let's not worry. Like I said, we're not going to worry too much about the trash or... Backpacks and stupid shit like that. We're just going to get the good stuff. That we're going to take apart um, for for the steel and whatnot. So, okay, hold on. What the hell? Oh, it's easy. Okay, let's deal with him with this. Nice shot there, old guy. <laughs> okay. This door is locked. Let's unlock it with the master key here. No Zeke's in here. Yeah, we're not taking that stuff. I will check for toilet pistols. Maybe someday we'll actually get one. I don't care about the trash for now. Okay, there's, um...
Wow, we woke up the dead there, didn't we? Alright, well if we can get them to line up in front of this grate... Come on, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Hey, get back here. Oh, they're coming this way. Okay. Let's, um, come on, let me set it down. Thank you very much. Let's get this... upgraded here. I wish they would congregate right here. I mean, that would have been ideal, you know? Let's at least shoot Marlene here. Okay, so she's dead. Nobody's coming through that direction. Alright, let's help them out here a little bit. We've got four Zeeks. That's, that's gonna warrant, um... That's gonna warrant some, uh... Molotov action, I think. Okay. I think it'll... Yeah, there we go. Let's help him along here just a little bit, too, with our shotties. You guys aren't dead yet? Oh, shit! Got too close. Dog, on it. Here, let's have a coffee. Actually, I should have... I should have drunk the um, golden rod. Should have cut a water, right? Okay, we're just gonna leave that there because we not, we're technically not supposed to go that way. And of course, I always like to go uh, along the correct path at least the first time I do a POI that I'm not familiar with. Uh, nope, don't care about that. Well, I guess we'll check this. What the hell? Um, let's drink that now. And chuck these two jars. We're a little bit hurt, but we're not in too bad of shape. Search the freezer. There we go. A little food action there, huh? Nice. Okay. So it looks like it wants us to go up on the roof. Here we go. We'll learn uh, baseball bat schematic, and then we'll take back for sellage. And we have gone seven days. <laughs> get it seven days without an incident how about that yuck okay um <laughs> let's continue on here uh we're not going to pass up the brass that's just not allowed that's the one that's the one rule never pass up brass no matter what in most cases <laughs> unless, there, unless there are extenuating circumstances you always got to leave yourself a little bit of a loophole right uh okay so let's see we came through that way um, did we get these reloaded? Yes, we did. Okay. It's so nice to have a tack rifle, a fully automatic tack rifle, mind you. Do we see any buzzers we can snipe? Not here. Alright, let's get this out in case we do get buzzard rushed. a pretty substantial roof. <laughs> All right, let's go up here. There's a thingamadoodle over there. Still not seeing any buzzards. Oh, shit! I heard him before I saw him. Son of a. Okay, let's pop a pill. And let's go ahead and just chug back this golden rod to say, you know, to free up a spot. Oh, incidentally, we're only two spots away from being fully unencumbered, by the way, because we found some more triple uh, storage pocket mods. I'm not going to loot him. We just don't need to. Not right now. I know he'll give us feathers and shit, but we need to be conservative with space. Oh, shit! You son of a... Alright. I'm hitting out the big gun. Spiders are so hard to hit because they're just all over the place. And they're tough on top of that. So even when you do hit them, <clears throat> sometimes it doesn't do any good. Uh, Alright, let's grab our, our stone axe here. We should probably start carrying a normal axe now since... Uh, I think because didn't I read that book that... 
Gives us 25% more damage with an axe on blocks. Um, yeah, I guess I'll keep that. I mean, I can make them, but we'll keep it and uh, use it maybe for a second workbench later on. I'm going to check these for eggs more than for feathers, and hopefully we get some eggs. There we go. Cool. Alright, is there anything up here? I think that's just supposed to be a decorative vent cover. Might as well look at this since it's right here. Hey, look at that. You know what? I think we're just going to take that right now. That was worth the price of admission. Let's scrap this to free up another spot here. And this, then just double check, make sure everybody's fully loaded. Okay. So, um... There's a weapons bag right there. Is that just... Yeah, that's just the light shining through the opening. Where's that sleeper at? We got three. Are they all down below? They must all be down below. Okay, let's check our weapons bag here. Um, ooh, okay. That might be an upgrade. It is an upgrade. Sweet. Plus, we can put another mod slot in it, too. Ah, uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep looting this stuff. You know, I don't think I will. Um, unless, do we get gunpowder if we scrap that? Or just stone? I think we just get stone. Oh, we get some paperback. Yeah, maybe we'll scrap it then. Maybe we'll scrap it. Uh, okay, what was I going to do? I can't remember now. Oh, we were going to switch over uh, to this new sledgehammer. So now if we find something else that we can put in here. In fact, I might have something back at the base now that I think about it that we can put in this second slot. Just make it a little tougher. And this will sell later. Okay, are we good to go? I think so. I think so. All right, so what in the hell's going on down there? Let's just uh, light them up a little bit. Even if that doesn't kill them, at least it'll soften them up. Yeah, look at that. You could take a couple pot shots. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, so we're in the main building now. That's probably where we're going to find our... What in the hell was that? Uh, where we're going to find our satchel. Yeah, bring on the food, baby. Bring on the food. This is where all these guys were freaking out. So this is just the entryway. Okay. Let's grab this wood. Get a decent amount of wood from these piles, and they're easy to break. I don't have any money on me, so I might come back here later and do that. Not very many cash registers anymore in Alpha 19 that are lootable. Yeah, you know what, guys? I'm not going to loot all this food on camera because uh, it's just going to be food, right? Which is great, but you guys don't want to see me open, you know, 30, 30 shelves of food. So I'll, I'll just do that later. Uh, I'll come back here later and do it off camera. So let's just continue moving forward here. This place is pretty creepy, man. Pretty creepy. Reminds me of going through that grocery store in uh, Fallout 4. Um, fair, you know, somewhat early on in the game, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a quest that where you have to go through a grocery store uh, in Fallout 4. I can't remember exactly the name of the of the of that particular place, but you go in there and there's like, you know, they've got the, um, the ghouls and they... they <laughs> It's pretty. It's a pretty uh, intense uh, level to do. Okay, so this is where we were earlier. So this vault is unlocked. Oh, she's feral. Okay, so we still have Zeke's to kill, um, and we still have to find our satchel. Oh shit! I thought you were dead. Okay, now. <laughs> 
how we killed all the zombies. Good lord. Uh, okay, so let's uh, check all this stuff in here. Another uh, burning shaft mod. Let's look at the fat loots. Ooh, very nice. Very, 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 very nice. Okay, that's some pretty good stuff. Now, I think we have... Do we have one more pocket mod that's not a triple? Let me check. Ra, right here. Yeah, yeah, Ra. Okay, let's modify that. That's a double, so that gets us down to just one slot now. Um, the hunter mod, that will increase damage. Do we have anything that has an open slot? Uh, a gun, I should say. I don't think we do. Okay, so we'll just hang on to that uh, for some other time. What do I have on here again? Oh, yeah, that's right. I got the fully automatic mod. Excuse me. Okay, let's uh, check in here real quick. Take those. And wow, wow, that's a lot of sham. Holy crap, man. Good stuff. Is there something behind here? Just, uh, just boxes. Okay, this is not lootable here. All right, so um, this is in the southeast corner of the store. I'm just trying to get my bearings for for future, you know, do double looting. And we kind of came... Okay, so it's right on the other side of this wall. So if you had a, a decent pick, we could just bust through that. Uh, or if we're going outside, um, you could bust in through here to get to it too. Good to know. All right. This satchel is very close down here. There it is. Look at that. Awesome. Okay, guys. Um, I want to think we're going to do at this point is, like I said, I will come back here later and loot all the food because I definitely want all the food this place has to offer. Plus, I'm going to take that thing apart. Uh, but I will do that later. So let's go ahead and move right on to our next quest so we can get both of these knocked out in this episode. I'm going to do a little inventory management and then I'll meet you over at that location. All right, guys, we're here at the next quest location. I'm just trying to figure out if I've done this place before. I think I have. It looks familiar. This isn't the one that has like the big gigantic underground mad scientist lab is. I don't think so. Hmm. It's not, uh, it's not real familiar to me though. Let's just, okay, so if, if we enter in through the garage, that means chances are the fat loots are probably up in the attic, but there could be a basement too. Let's just take a couple of moments. I'm not going to spend a ton of time trying to find the end loots, but let's make a little bit of an effort to do that uh, before we actually start the quest for real. So I'm just going to kind of go up. Wow, this is a an interesting house, isn't it? I kind of have a feeling, though, like fat loots, if, it, if there are any, are probably going to be in a basement, but I just don't know that for sure. So let's um, let's pop in right through here and just take a peek and see what's in here. Yowzers! All right, so we found a, oh shit, an attic of sorts. Um, can we get back up there? No, it's we're getting caught in the wood frame thing. Okay. Oh, you know what though? This is just uh. The zombie drop on your head situation. Uh, okay, well, in that case, let's just kind of take a quick peek of Ruski in here. Is there a basement? Because the basement's most likely going to be our best bet for fat loots. Um, 
if we need to retreat, we can retreat into here. Okay. <laughs> Those zombies, man, they, they like go around you and behind you. And um, it's not always easy to get a good shot off on you. Okay, I hear somebody else, but that sounds like a an easy crawler. Yeah. Look at that, man. Look at that. That's pretty decent stuff. We'll take that. This is taking a little bit longer than I really want it to, though, so... I'm just trying to see if there's a, a basement somewhere. Yikes. Is that just one Zeke? I think so. Ronald frickin' McDonald. Ooh. Guys, we can't pass up brass, sorry. Passing up brass is a cardinal sin. And I think I can honestly say, too, that I have not done this PL before. Or if I have, I just don't remember uh, doing it. We need to find a frickin' basement, man. Oh, shit! Is he dead? He did. He did, too. No, he's not. There he is. One or two? Two. Let's let him get lined up here. Oh, that's a fat loot. Okay, cool. We found it. Inside of a of a closet here. Where's Easy at? I don't know. I used to call the crawler Easy. And then I stopped kind of calling him that. Oh shit! Because he's a little—he's a little more scary looking than he used to be. Actually, he's a lot more scary looking, you know. So, a little more respect. But I think we're just gonna go back to calling him easy again because because he's easy. That's the reason. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. That's nice. Okay, fat loot's time. Ooh, okay, that's an upgrade for us. And uh, we'll take all of the rest of this as well. Uh, so let's go here and um, remove that. Whoops. Equip that. We need to modify this and get all the stuff off of it. And we have an extra mod slot there for something else later. Uh, these we'll probably just fix up and sell. And let's also actually take both of these things and repair them. So we, we've got a nice little set of armor going on now, guys. I mean, it's still scrap armor, but it's like top-of-the-line scrap armor. Oh, all right. Is Yeah, I'm not going to give up purple leggings for orange iron, even if the armor itself is better, just because of the mod slot situation. Oh, nice. Uh, do we have cloth on us? No? Okay, we'll find cloth later. Okay, let's get this quest started for realsies. Um, so, our motorcycle's out this way. Is this... wood? Okay, yeah, let's, we can bust her here, I guess. Okay, so the fat loots for future reference is basically you just bust straight on through here, uh, coming in through the garage. So we'll remember that for next time. Might as well grab this while it's here. Okay, let's turn this into cloth. And then uh, we can at least start... Well, we might have some cloth in the, in the bike too. Let's look there. sell that 
no cloth in the bike. Okay, we've got a full thing of bandages, so I'll tell you what, we're not gonna we're not gonna boot it talk. We're not gonna make that right now. Let's keep the cloth with us, we'll keep the paper with us, just anything that we're likely to get more of and that we can stack. And the stuff that we're not likely to get more of, we will put in here. So we'll take the brass back out of there. Um what else? We might find some feathers, probably now, but we might inside the house, you know. Uh, we'll get more of these if we take a lamp apart, so we'll put the blunder in there. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good to go. Uh, let's replenish our two stacks of 762. And we're still kind of full, but let's just start with that, and we'll, you know, we'll see how things go. Okay, guys, let's start the quest for real. So this is just a clear quest. We don't have to get a satchel or anything like that. There's probably a Zeke in there. What in the world? Just came from up above? Yeah, he dropped from up there. Yeah, okay. Um... Nope. You know, life is actually uncertain. Maybe we should just eat our dessert first. What do you guys think? Uh, oh, shit. I need some stone. Let's see. Let's grab this. Yeah, let's eat our dessert first. What the hell? Neither one of these are worth a shit, really. I'm, I'm going to leave them both. Oh. Let's take that. There he goes, doing his little double arm swipe thing, a doodle. And the fat loots. Whew, okay. Um, we'll scrap this. Take the rest of that. Now, um, is this actually better than my blue bone shift? So this has block damage of six. This has block damage of six as well. But it's got more power attack damage. 625, 6, 6, 7 melee, but I, I never use these for melee. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's graduate to an, a real knife. Why not? The bone shiv is arguably just a little bit better, but we are now going to use a knife. Okay, so we have a structural brace mod. Uh, we might as well put that on here so we can increase its damage just a little bit. Not that we're, we're not so worried about the durability, but... And I, I already have a bandolier mod on, don't I? I do, yeah. Okay, so we'll just sell that probably. Scrap this here. And I think we're in good shape. I think we're in good shape. All right, let's uh, actually go through the quest in the normal manner, though. And uh, very minimal... Whoa, shit. Very minimal looting here. Come on, easy. Go down. Goodness. I do need to put some more points in the machine gunner. I don't have very many. Um, we, we're, you know, we're going to hit... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Where is my... There it is. Uh, we are going to hit these, of course. But, um, like I said, just minimal looting at this point so we can get finished with this and get to the traders because it is getting late. I don't even know if we're going to make it to the traders, but we'll see. We'll try. We'll do our the best we can. So, let's just run through here. Like crazy. Man, a lot of dudes dropping through the ceiling. 
in this place. Okay, we got two. Hey! Damn it, Easy. He's getting even with me for changing his name back to Easy. Alright, well, we're back in the Fat Loot's room now. We better pop one of these. I'm gonna actually save <clears throat> save my coffee for mining. Uh, okay, so we can't get through there. There's a Zeke in here. Return to trader. Okay, we gotta skedaddle. Yeah, I know there's more loot in here, guys, but we just gotta go. That's all there is to it. How do we get out of here? This way. Okay, so let's get to uh, the trader in this town first. I'm just going to put a, a red marker there. And then see if we can possibly make it back to the trader in our town for the other turn-in. Hello, it traveler. Be my lucky day. Um, oh, a better, an even <laughs> better hunting knife. Uh, or an iron sledgehammer, which is not as good as what we currently have. Uh, or four vitamins. Boy, all of those are nice. I think, you know what, I'm going to think I'm going to take the vitamins, because we need that, you know, if we get fatigue and that sort of thing. Uh, all right, quickly, new job. Uh, preferably something to the east, southeast. I don't want to go west, because that's going to send us into the burnt biome. Uh, do the, let's do this fetch and clear to the northeast. I'm in a bit of a quandary, no matter what. Okay, we got to skedaddle. Everything. Don't know if we're going to make it to the other trader. We probably won't, but let's just do the best job that we possibly can... Okay, we actually had more time than I thought we did. <clears throat> so we're good. It's all good, man. It's all good. What do you surprise? Okay, surprise. he's got an AK. That I is definitely what we're going to take. In return now. Uh, and it's a yellow one at that, so we can Here put two mods go. in it. Um Let's think about this for a second though. We don't really need an AK because we've got the, you know, we've got the tactical I suppose one reason why we might take it, though, is because then we can, if nothing else, we can take it apart for the parts to make a better gun later. Uh, this pickaxe is 39 block damage. Yeah, see, that's, yeah, this definitely makes the most sense, whether we actually use it or not. Okay, let's take your next job. Uh, we want a tier two. Uh, 883 to the west is going to be back in the other town. It's a fetch. So this is a fetch and clear to the west too. That might be on the edge of the burn biome. This complicated okay, let's just take okay. it. Because here again, we get a little bit more for doing those quests. Uh, don't think I actually really want any of that stuff. All right, guys. So um, the plan for for me before I start the next episode. Is going to be to to work on our horde base. Now I've got I got a decent amount of concrete that I've made up. Um, so we're going to use this same basic idea uh, for the next for horde night 14. But I'm going to get this upgraded, you know, to concrete. And I'm going to also take this probably this column of blocks out because the AI still seemed to think there was a pathway to me going this way, which technically there was because you know there's only a one block gap but i think if we put a two block gap there that should keep them you know coming down well in theory anyways you know the middle of the aisle um so my my main goal is going to be to get this upgraded uh to concrete and or cobble as much as i can and then we're probably going to go ahead and just continue trying this same um thing uh for horde night 14. i might remove that um iron there and replace it with some actual you know quarter poles instead so i can you know double up on them and that th sort of thing um just so that way if they do get all the way to us then we have a lot more protection before they can break through all the way okay so that's the plan uh the other thing that i need to do is i need gasoline and so if i get this done early and i have enough time i might actually go in search of a desert biome if not, then I'll just spend the rest of the time between now and Horde Night uh, just wrenching cars to get more gas that way. So probably will not bring you guys back 
until the start of Horde Night 14 unless, <clears throat> you know, unless I decide uh, to do so. <laughs> so that's the tentative plan for right now. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.